Salam everyone, thank you so much for being here again in another video. This is my very first tutorial video for this channel. Today I'm showing you how did I make my transparent page finder that I use as a dashboard as well. I showed this one in my previous uh, March update video. If you didn't watch it, please go ahead and check it out after right after you watch this video. So let's see what do you need. First of all, you need definitely a transparent sh plastic sheet. This uh, plastic sheet usually uh, used in binders, so you can find it almost everywhere. Then you will need a pen, a black marker, a ruler, uh, tabs, stickers, corner punch, a hole puncher, pair of scissors, and you need a punch guide if you are using the uh, single hole puncher. So, first of all, you will need to know the dimensions of your pages. Now, for me, the dimensions of my pages are 10.5 uh, by 17.5. Uh, these are my pages over here. Uh, these are the ones that I uh, prepare myself. So, what you need to do is, um, this it is 17.5 by 10.5 what you need to do is to go ahead and trace your transparent sheet in a dimension similar to this but one centimeter longer so it will be 18.5 by 10.5 and of course the dimensions depends on your the pages that you are using so this is what I did already over here I went ahead and I traced as you can see over here it is already traced so now I will go ahead and start cutting it off This is 18.5 by 10.5. If you have, you can use an exacto knife. You can use uh, your uh, paper cutter, which might be more convenient for you. So now your page or your page finder is. Done, it cut to size. It looks like a fly leaf, but it works wonderful as a, a page finder. Next step is I'll go ahead and punch the corners. Now, this uh, puncher needs lots of power, so let me put things aside. I will place it over here and this is one cut. Now the second corner. Punched. Now two corners are punched. Hope you can see that. This is optional if only for decoration if you would like to cut it only round. I prefer if it's cut round if you don't have a puncher, but just don't leave it pointed like this because this is hanging out on top of the pages. It is not flush with the other pages, so it's preferable uh, to cut it rounded or as you can see over here, I went ahead and I punched it. And by the way, this is a Daiso corner puncher. Now you need to focus on this. I'm using this card paper that I use. I used to keep it as divider in my binder. Uh, I use it for a punch guide. Now I don't know what type of a binder I have. It was one I found uh, over here in a local uh, craft store. Uh, sorry, in a local bookstore. So I use the uh, single hole puncher. So for that you need a guide. Now this is matching my pages. What I do is, you have to focus. When you place your punch guide or your hole guide, you have to make sure it is in the right direction in relation to the top uh, you are planning to have. So make sure you are not, for example, putting it like this, otherwise it might not be of the same dimension. Like never keep the top of your guide with the bottom of your uh, new page you are punching. Otherwise you will end up with an uneven or unleveled pages. So what you do is, I just level it together, as you can see here. And then, since this is a quite thick paper, I don't have to go ahead and shade the holes. And I, will, I might show you another tutorial on how to use uh, the single one. So I just go ahead, the single uh, hole puncher. I'll go ahead and punch the holes. 
This is the first one. Second. Third. Fourth. Make sure you have to readjust your guide once it's moving. This is the last hole ready and punched. So now my page finder is punched as you can see and the corners are cut. Now since my page finder is removable definitely you will go ahead and snap the holes. Make sure you snap the holes in the middle. So now the holes are snapped, opened. Hope you can see that. Clear for you. So now it is removable. Fine. This is your page finder. It's done now. You can use the top side as a uh, tab for you. Or for me, I prefer to add a side tab. So I'll keep this aside for now. I'll get my tabs and I'm, for now I'm going for bl with the blue. And I will go ahead and write my diary. Okay, and then tilted, rotated upside down. So now tab is ready. Make sure to recap your marker. And then I will go ahead and since I already have another page finder, I would like to keep this one a little bit lower. So what I will do is, I'll check this one out. And I'll try to keep this one below it, over here. Okay, so you make sure you keep this up, you tape it only at the bottom part. So now it's written diary from both sides. Now optional, I like to decorate the top part so I can still see it on, uh, on the top. So I'm using these stickers. It says, don't worry, be happy. I'll just stick it in the middle of my page finder. Hope you can see that. So now your page finder or transparent page finder is ready to be used. Hope you enjoyed this video. And till the next time, remember to be the good you want to see in the live. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see any more of my videos, please subscribe. And thank you. Thank you for watching.